Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for April 3rd, 2020. So yesterday, we got to see a nice little rally come in the market, even after we had one of the worst jobs numbers in history, 6.6 .6 million people um, losing their jobs and applying for unemployment. And the market chose to rally, and I think kind of a shell-shocked market chose to rally. So what happened? Well, how about we settle in, grab ourselves something to drink, and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So yesterday we got news um, from the president that apparently he had talked to um, folks at OPEC and Russia and they'd come to an agreement in some way, shape or form that they are going to relieve the pressure on oil production by cutting oil production and that solidified some rally yesterday in those oil sector stocks. That was nice to see and that did provide some relief, but one of the things we have to keep in mind is that there is still a tremendous amount of surplus in that oil supply and demand um, for that supply is continuing to be damaged by the pandemic that uh, spread around the world and everybody is closing down, shutting doors, um, staying in, and demand is continuing to drop dramatically. So it's going to be kind of an interesting situation to see how long um, we're going to get some levity in that, um, considering how much um, supply we have now to work through in the market. But having said that, let's take a look at what the charts are telling us, some of the technicals of the charts, and how things are looking. now. This line I have marked on this chart here, the diamonds you can see, is to mark out that low of 2018. And, and just marking it out as resistance. And we've attempted a couple of times to, to hold above that. We broke above in this rally, little relief rally off the low. And now we've made uh, this pullback. And what's interesting about this pullback is this pullback is trying to hold some price support in this chart. So we're trying to hang on to some bullishness in the chart, even in spite of rising numbers of infections and death toll and just some real critical things beginning to happen out there. But we tried to rally back up on that news. Now this morning, we have uh, Dow Futures pushing down and trying to take back, not quite half right at the moment, but we've been down uh, pointing to uh, a break, uh, pulling back about half of that rally. Um, here this morning so you can see we're looking at a little gap down right now the futures have rallied up just a little bit in the last few minutes so we're trying to hold on to that but taking a gap down here this morning of significance now that could change dramatically that could change dramatically right after we get the jobs number now the jobs number is going to come out an hour before the market opens so everything i say here about where the futures might be will be completely invalid um, probably moments after um, that jobs number comes out Here's the thing that we need to think about on the jobs number. First off, the jobs number is expecting a substantial decline, and some are saying it could be a decline that um, is uh, uh, we haven't seen in a decade. We'll wait and see what that number actually is. But here's the thing about this number. Um, the thing is, it, it the the data was collected before a lot of the states and everything started doing shutdowns and closing things down and businesses closing so the true impacts are not likely going to be seen until the april report 
So it's going to be interesting to see as we head into a weekend how the market's going to deal with this number and how what actually did come in on that count. The the consensus estimates are so wide it's it's unbelievable. So we'll have to wait and see how that number actually comes in. But just expect some really quick price action, knee jerk. Um, knee jerk moving around and really wild swings right after that number comes out on anything is possible by the open today so let's take a look um, one more time here we do have this little bit of bullishness that's showing up here where we pushed up pulled back we still have this resistance in the chart that we need to deal with but we are trying to hold on to this price support so does that give us that potential opportunity that this could be the beginning of an uptrend and I have to say yes to that um, if we look at this technically but I also have to recognize the fact that we are still within our downtrend and so for me that gives me quite a little bit of pause when I see this downtrend and a potential resistance here in the chart that leaves us with that possibility that we even if we to catch a rally we could rally up into here and then still fail so be really really careful here this could go either direction um, in the market and man if if anyone is telling you they know what's going to happen next um, they are just straight up lying to you because I don't think anybody can really get a full grip or grasp on what's going on out here in our economy as these numbers continue to to rise those death tolls continue to rise dramatically and we're reaching a point of critical mass in New York City they are just about out of ventilators and doctors are going to have to start making those decisions as to who lives and who dies who gets the ventilators later who don't who doesn't uh, are they going to start flipping coins i don't know um that's a pretty ugly situation to be facing and i have just have to imagine that's just going to going to continue to weigh heavily on the market so kind of keep those things in mind let's take a look at the spy spy ugly ugly chart here overall but we do have some goodness in here that we can look at and some positiveness one thing I'm going to point out here before we go any further is that this is a price resistance level and we'll want to respect that price resistance level now we have a very similar situation here in the spy where we have that downtrend that we haven't been able to breach we still have that resistance level that we have failed but we do have this possible positive bullish setup here where we've pulled back we're trying to hold support in that chart so once again we have kind of that quandary here are we going to show enough strength in this market to maybe pop through that resistance that'd be wonderful if we could pop through that resistance prove to hold it as support then we've got an upside trend that we can work with but if we happen to fail here and with futures pointing to a downside move this morning Boy, it's a tough call as to which way this is going to go. So let's watch that closely, and that jobs number is going to be very important here. Let's take a look at the Qs. Qs, almost identical situation here in the NASDAQ, but we have this little interesting diversion here on the NASDAQ. If we draw that downtrend line, you can see we actually broke through the top side of that, and we're trying to hold that support level here on the NASDAQ. We're trying to hang in. In here so the possibility does exist that we find some price support in here and rally up now as you can see if I pull this back I've got kind of a there's kind of a muddy um, um, resistance level in this chart with just all this congestion that I've got marked on that chart so it's really all going to depend whether or not we can actually pop on through that resistance in the chart it is a bullish sign that we're trying to hold this downtrend we're trying to hold it as support and we've got this little bit of price action in here giving us that support so could this be the beginning of an uptrend maybe but let's watch that pretty closely um, anything is possible here and 
uh, boy, heading into the weekend, it's really hard for me to envision there's going to be a whole lot of buying into the risk and uncertainty of a weekend as these numbers continue to grow on the virus side. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM um, decidedly in a downtrend still. Um, really kind of struggling here as you can see didn't didn't even come back up here to test these levels um, yet we we popped and pulled back so we're dealing with some resistance in the chart um, that's fairly substantial as you can see and IWM not showing a whole lot of bullishness here overall but anything is possible once again we could try and catch that as a higher low and rally up and we're just going to have to watch that downtrend and assume we can break some of these resistance levels to the upside once again it's looking at a lower open this morning let's take a look at um, the vix this the vix has been kind of interesting um, in the way it's been reacting um, it's, it's as if the market has just kind of become weary. Um, we know the volatility is high, but we've kind of become weary of the volatility. So even when the market rallies, we don't do a whole lot here. Um, we did get a little bit of selling in this pulling back, so that is important. What we want to be paying attention to, I think, is this price support. And this price support is these highs that we picked up here in 2015, 2018, um, right through here, and we're setting on that price support right now. So let's watch that in here. If this can hold, in this area or if it does hold then and we see some selling then we could get that spike back up here in the VIX however if we do find those bulls those bulls catching on here and those bulls can push on through to the upside then we might see this drift down below this 50 area back down toward this 37 handle and that next support level in the chart and by the way if i pull that back there's lots of support evidence in there for that level so watch that now what i see this as and this is one of those things that it's kind of that technical pattern is I see this as that potential bull flag um, and if we that's going to require you know us to react to some of these support levels if we continue to fail then awesome um, watch this pretty closely um, heading into the weekend and the uncertainty of the weekend wouldn't be a big surprise to me to see a little selling coming in so as we head into the weekend but anything is possible so let's watch that I'm not trying to predict anything here let's take a look at T2122 it's the four week new high new low ratio and you can see um, we did push back down into what we call the bullish in um, reversal zone typically if we look back here anytime a market sells off and comes down into these areas we get that bullish reversal coming back up out of these levels but we've got obviously a very different market right now and we hovered down here for such a long time um, in that uh, bullish reversal area not being able to climb out because the the numbers just continue to pound on this market pretty hard so we did push back down into here with that thousand point sell-off on a Wednesday and got a little tiny lift in that number yesterday now the question is with the jobs number coming out today will we catch that bullish move or not one of the things you want to pay attention to is this little downtrend that we have going on in here and if we do pop out of here and rally um, watch these levels in here because um, heading into the weekend may be kind of tough to be finding some buyers we'll just have to wait and see um, let's take a look at at um, our economic calendar for today and that's what I've been talking about all morning here the things that we're gonna have to um, think about here in just a little while that employment situation number coming out estimates are all over the place in fact the Econo day estimates the the range of as estimates is from plus a hundred thousand in jobs to minus 1.2 million um, that would indicate we don't have a clue we're guessing <laughs> as to what this may be um, I, I've heard lots of estimates of minus 100,000 
Um, no one really knows where this is going to come in. So just be really careful here. The market's going to fluctuate around quite a bit. And as I've been talking, the Dow futures are trying to climb back up. We're trying to put on a brave face ahead of this number. Um, right now, Dow futures are only down 84 points. So they've they've jumped 100 points since I started talking about this. This gives you a little idea of the kind of volatility that we may see just as soon as that number comes out. Pretty wild and crazy how this market is fluctuating around. So be very careful. Um, also, also notice that we have the ISM non-manufacturing here at 10 a.m. I got to tell you, this will this is going to uh, dominate the conversation today. So um, we may get some fluctuation in this number. It may be some kind of a shocking number, but that's going to be that's going to be the big one that uh, potentially moves us around. And keep in mind, it's not going to be the full impact until April of what that number may actually be so might be just give us give us a little bit of flavor of what's coming um, in the next month um, so on the earnings front we had only 19 companies reporting earnings we're really winding down this quarter of you know earnings um, heading into the second quarter that we've already started here but though those second quarter earnings reports um, really don't ramp up here for a little bit and we'll want to um, just kind of you know, we'll just kind of wander around here on those earnings reports. We added about 19 companies reporting earnings, but I can only really come up with one that made much difference at all today, and that's STZ. Take a look at STZ. Uh, not STZ. STZ. Yes, it's STZ. Um, STZ um, reporting um, today, so we'll want to keep an eye on that for some reason that doesn't seem i think i've got an incorrect number here guys give me just a or incorrect ticker i think it is not stz no nope it's stz it is stz stz um reporting um can that be right I thought it was Constellation Brands. Hmm. Well, um, keep an eye on that. I um, maybe have a mistake here. So, um, but I don't think there's much of anything that we can expect from these moves today um, in these earnings reports. So, watch that closely. I'm sorry, it is. It's STZ. It's STZ Constellation Brands is reporting today so keep an eye on that um, um, alcohol um, has been they've been reporting um, a, a crazy high sales on alcohol sales um, here lately I guess um, when everybody's home um, they're trying to dull the pain by drinking I don't know but um, alcohol sales going higher maybe they're using it as hand sanitizer I don't know so um, watch um, watch that one but I doubt that that's going to have a major impact on the day so um, keep that in mind let's take a look at a few stocks that are showing some signs of, of improvement places that you might want to look for trades but I want to caution everyone to be very very careful heading into this weekend about the last thing I think anybody wants to do is load up on stocks into the uncertainty of the weekend but watch this closely now one that I've been kind of paying attention to is coca-cola here coca-cola popping up as you can see trying to lift back up here just a little bit holding that higher low and it did a little bit better job of kind of building a little consolidation area here still below this eight exponential moving average in the chart but whoops that's a two day but still trying to uh, move back up this and uh, this daily chart looks a little bit better here and as you can see trying to hold right in here and we broke this little downtrend right here on the chart so we're trying to hold that support that's a good sign for me and if we can continue to hold in here and push on high that's something um, I might want to take a look at take a look at Nvidia Nvidia is trying to come back up 
And you can see we've broken the downtrend here in the chart and we pushed up strongly, pulled back, but we're finding some price support right across this area. So as we try to find that price support, we're actually trying to build a trend here in this chart. Nearly a bullish engulfing candle yesterday, trying to push back up if those bulls can keep pushing here, we may have upside opportunity in this chart. Now, technically, we're looking pretty decently here as well, um, trying to push back up above that 50 day moving average. That can provide that resistance, but we'll wanna watch that closely if it can actually make that break up through there. I saw a few of those that look like that um, yesterday, a few stocks. Take a look at micro. Microsoft. Microsoft pushed up, pushed up, tested that daily 50, pulled back, but we found price support right in here. So if we go to our naked chart here and start looking at support resistance in the chart, as you can see, we've got this little level right through here where we're trying to find that price support. And you can see buyers trying to pick up yesterday in here. Now, I wouldn't wanna suggest that um, this is a trap that gets set an awful lot where we spike up hard, we pull back hard, we get a bullish candle and everyone wants to jump in here, but then the stock continues to pull back. So let's watch this in here. If that rests across this area, bounces around in here, rests in there, there still may be that opportunity to pick up that trade. So we're starting to see some tech improvement in some of these stocks that are trying to come back. Um, other places I've been um, watching, take a look at XLE. XLE had a really nice move yesterday with that news um, between Russia and um, and OPEC. And as you can see, kind of breaking this little downtrend in here. Now, if we mark a trend across here, we still have some work to do. But as you can see, we held this price support in this area. We're trying to show some technical improvement in this chart. And with that little bit of news, um, as you can see, we're trying to rally um, up once again this morning. So um, energy sector stocks might be a place to look, uh, particularly that oil sector might be trying to improve here overall. So there's a few charts for you to look at, a few places that you may find something to trade. I want to wish everyone a fantastic day. If you guys could do me a favor, if you found this video to be helpful, if you could please click that subscribe button and also click that bell icon when it pops up and then click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Um, helps out a lot. And thank you so much for everyone who does do that. I wish you all the best. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Stay safe. Stay safe. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Thanks, everyone.